The High Court throws out an application by Prime Minister Stewart to dismiss Attorney David Commerchon's legal challenge against his decision to approve construction of the Hyatt Resort Hotel. That's our top story in our Barbados Today morning news update for Thursday, December the 21st. I'm Emmanuel Joseph. Thanks for joining us. The way is now clear for attorney at law and social activist David Commerchon to legally challenge the decision by Prime Minister Frandel Stewart in his capacity as Minister responsible for town planning to approve construction of the controversial $200 million Hyatt-centric resort on Bay Street, the city. High Court Judge Madam Justice Dr. Sonia Richards yesterday afternoon threw out an application by the Prime Minister who had asked the court to rule that Commerchon had no legal ground on which to challenge his decision. Stewart's attorney, Hal Gollop QC, and the Hyatt developer's lawyer, Barry Gale QC, immediately served notice of their intention to appeal the judge's ruling, which was based on three grounds, as explained by a delighted Commerchon. The court made a finding that I had standing under the Town and Country Planning Act as a person aggrieved, that I also had plan, um, standing under the Administrative Justice Act as a person whose interest was adversely affected by the decision to grant permission to build the hotel. And thirdly, most pleasing to me was that in the public interest that the court would hear the matter. While Commerchon was understandably elated, the mood in the opposing party's camp was different as expressed by the developer's lawyer, Barry Gale. The ruling made by the court this afternoon is not a ruling on the merits of the case in any way. The court made that very clear. The merits of the case will be determined subsequently at a trial. But what is of significance is that both the Prime Minister, the defendant, and Vision Developments um, applied for leave to appeal to the Court of Appeal, and it's significant that the judge herself um, granted leave to appeal to both the Prime Minister as defendant and to Vision Developments Inc. The Front District Administration, meanwhile, has been ordered by the High Court to pay yet to be determined damages to seven employees of the state-owned Barbados Investment and Development Corporation, BIDC, who were forced into early retirement in August 2015. The decision was handed down yesterday afternoon in the No. 5 Supreme Court by Madam Justice Jacqueline Cornelius, nearly two years after she heard submissions in early March 2016 after which she had promised to issue a ruling at the end of that month. In her 50-page judgment delivered in the presence of the employees and the top officials of their bargaining agent, the National Union of Public Workers, including its President Akani McDowell and Deputy General Secretary Delcia Burke, Cornelius ruled that the decision by the BIDC to force the workers who had all reached age 60 into compulsory retirement was unlawful, null, void, and of no legal effect. She also declared that the decision of the Accountant General, the officers of the Treasury Department, the Auditor General, and other public officers and government authorities to process and calculate or purport to process and calculate the gratuity and pensions due to the claimants was also unlawful, null, void, and of no legal effect. Now, McDowell was delighted at the court's decision. I am extremely, extremely, extremely happy for those workers. I think this decision here today would have brought some measure of closure for them. Um, this would have been going on since 2015, and clearly it would have been very difficult for them to cope with the situation, having not received a, a decision from the, from, the, um, from the court. So today is a very good day for me. It's a very good day for them, and it's a very good day for labor in general in Barbados. I think um, what it does for them as well is that it shows that you have to make sure that you follow through on 
what you believe is right. Um, you have to make sure that you, you make the right decision in life and follow through on, on, on that decision. You never give up and you make sure that you, you fight for whatever you have to, to to make sure that your rights are, are not infringed. Lead attorney for the workers, Gregory Nichols, was relieved that the court had agreed with the legal position his clients had taken since being forced into retirement. We have always felt that you could not and should not use the provisions of the statutory board's pensions act to avoid the consequences of uh, economic redundancy. This is basically what in our estimation was occurring at the BADC. The BADC sought to defend the matter on the basis that they had the power to retire any officer above the age of 60 at any time, full stop, and we were able to convince the court that notwithstanding the fact the board had the power to retire the officers, they could only do so with within the bounds of the law. That is, not in an unreasonable manner, not in a capricious manner, or not in a manner that offended any of the other notions of justice. So the, the claimants have been vindicated. There's regional and international news after this short break. Be careful not to become distracted when laden down with bags, as this makes you an easy target. Ensure that your handbags or wallet is secure and keep your mobile phone out of sight. Resist the urge to broadcast that you are not going to be home. When the festivities are over, recycle your garbage and don't leave boxes in plain sight for burglars will be on the lookout for top-of-the-range equipment worth breaking in for. Call 417-7233. G4S, securing your world. Welcome back with news from the region now. Efforts are underway to quell tensions in sections of Mountain View, Jamaica, where a flare in violence between rival factions have led to several killings in and around the area. Member of Parliament for South East St. Andrew, Julian Robinson, says the current spate of violence threatens to derail months of mediation and community policing that had been successful most part of this year. I, I don't know the exact number, to be frank. We had a, a number of them in Swallowfield earlier in the year, which was brought under control, and now Mountain View has had three in the last week or so. But we're hoping we can manage it because the reality is that the violence doesn't help anybody and it retards development in the communities. And on the international scene, the first Secretary of State, Damien Green, has resigned from the UK government amidst a pornography scandal. It will be a blow to Theresa May, as she, he was a key ally in her cabinet. But the cars have been stacked against him since a woman said he made inappropriate sexual advances towards her. And then it was revealed that thousands of pornographic images were found on his parliamentary computers in 2008. That's news, but for the very latest, visit our website at www.barbadostoday.bb. You can also subscribe to our e-paper, email updates, or like us on Facebook. We are also on Izumi Media in bus terminals, as well as screenplay at supermarkets and gas stations near you. You can also hear us on Mix 96.9 FM. I'm Emmanuel Joseph. Have a fantastic day.